everybody, what is going on? It is Kujo Fools, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved in our Lost Islands map server. And today we're going to be doing some really fun shit. So, um, in our last one, we just kind of like went about taming, I think we tamed like some megalodons and stuff like that. It's been a hot minute since we have actually done much on our Lost Island server. But if you guys can tell, um, the lighting's really weird in here, and I will explain why here in a minute. Let me show you. We are actually hunkered down in a cave. So we're actually over here at this part of the map. I will show you guys the outside here in a little bit, but we wanted to find somewhere closer to not only the wyverns, but also just in the redwoods in general. It has been kind of a hot minute since we've toured over here, so I figured it'd be best if we did, and we could also find some tames. So I do have a couple more friends to show you guys. Uh, we tamed them on our way over here. We've got this beautiful female red iguanodon, this green and yellow iguanodon, and this blue and red iguanodon. And then we also got this bright lime colored male pteranodon I, and this beautiful Argentavis, which is a male and I named him Phoenix because of his colors. But um, we decided to come over here just for safety measures. I wonder if I can drink this water right here. We wanted to get somewhere close to water and this cave was almost perfect for us. Granted, it does not have the materials that we need. We can all, you know, we can always make up for that. There we go. I'm not worried about his health right now, just because you know how that goes. But let me show you guys the outskirts of where we are. So right over here is the fortress. This right here is that big old castle that we found like stream three or four. There's, I think there's a Sarko below us. I don't know where it is. He might have wandered off, hopefully. There's something running around over here. It looks like a Trudon or something. But it's kind of scary to be out here at night. We really shouldn't be out here. Yeah, there's, oh, you guys see that bright green terror bird? Yeah, there's the Sarko I was talking about. But yeah, there's just all sorts of madness going on right now. <laughs> but we wanted to do some exploring. Uh, just check some things out and also um, possibly tame some things over here. There's a couple of creatures that we want to tame, such as the um, baboons and what have you. And I hope nothing flies in to mess with me. Yeah, you would. Fuck off, stupid, stupid boobs. But we also want to go after some things that are in the redwoods, such as the Thylaca Leos, the Dire Bears. There's a Megapithecus over there, I think. It, 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 it is like something. Let me see. Gigantopithecus. So, like, it would be good to tame some of this stuff if, you know, it looks like those baboons don't attack them. Hmm. It makes sense because they're kind of like, you know, friends, I guess. But yeah, so our cave is literally right behind us. It's really cool over here. I really like it. Um, but yeah, I will show you the entrance of the cave. It's at the bottom of this waterfall here. See, like right now, you can't tell that there's a gate there. But if you scoot in a little closer, then you're like, oh, wait, there's something near. So yeah, this is like, I was actually just trashing Ark the other day. I was like, you know, I hate when there's like waterfalls with no secrets. And then it was almost as if like Ark finally was like, hmm, maybe we should put secrets behind this. And it's just like a metal and crystal cave, but it's amazing to say the least. It's good for, you know, anyone that's even PvP or PvE players can hide away in here. So I would like to call it the glory hole, but I don't think I can put a sign up that says that. That would be hilarious if I could, but um, the last time I tried that on this game, it did not allow me to do so. Okay, let's start kind of exploring our surroundings. We do have to be careful of trees. Oh, there is a bright red Megaloceros over here. Everything about him is just red. Ooh, that dire bear messed up that Sarko. I wonder what level that dire bear is. Level 34? Yeah, he don't play no shit. I wonder if we can tame him without any issues. Oh, there's a Carno, that terror bird. Ugh. Let's see if they come over here. If they do, we'll probably just have to kind of clear them out. I do have some bullas. We'll whistle neutral. There we go. What level are you? Ugh, that lag. Level nine. Here and be my friend. You are my friend. Uh, get 
drinks to the face. There you go, buddy. That's a good deer. These guys aren't really, like, valuable or anything. Like, I mean, like, they're cool to have, but there's really not much for them. Now, they have an amazing movement speed, though. They're very quick on their feet. <sighs> it's gonna be a problem. Oh, I killed the pretty terror bird I was gonna try and tame later. That's all right. With my luck, it was probably gonna be, like, the one gender that we need. I think we have two females and only... Yeah, and have no males whatsoever. We need to kind of set up with a dire bear. They are aggressive, they hit hard, and they do not take no shit. Oh, fuck's sake. Bitch-ass bugs. Scared the shit out of me. Ugh, I legit, like, jumped. I about shit myself. Ugh. Okay, well, our Megaloceros is tamed. We're gonna just put him in a cryopod right now. We're... I'm gonna give him some food, even though we don't really need to, and I will put him in a cryopod just for safety measures, because the Redwoods is one of the hardest biomes to be in. I feel like the beach and the plains are like the easiest, and then everything else is hard, like ice, icy locations, the you know snow biomes, mountains, all of that, that's hard. The frickin' Redwoods is hard, the swamp is bad, you know, just everywhere is difficult. So I was doing some research on these interesting baboons and I happened to find out that the only way you can tame them is if you completely destroy the squadron of them and then try and tame the alpha, which is, I, I think, you know, the only way to go about it. So that means that we'll have to like kind of figure out what to, you know, like try and figure out a trap of some sort. I'm thinking that's the way to go. So let me show you guys real quick. So let's see, that glowing guy over there is the alpha or female, level 20. Um, they're alpha based on their level. The highest level is obviously the alpha. So what we would have to do is probably, um, I'm just gonna land right here. Hopefully mind my business so they don't eat me. Um, so what we'll have to do is probably make some sort of trap where we can lure them all in at once and then possibly do like some sort of process of elimination where we pick them off one by one and then when all is left is the alpha then we try to tame it so i guess it's like a passive tame after you kill all of its buddies it's like hey you killed my friends i'm gonna be friendly now so we'll probably do it that way we'll kind of we need to figure out a game plan here because this is not a good place i mean this is a good place because they spawn here but it's not a good place because we can take I think we take more damage if we're around ruins or in caves. Um, so if like the plan fails, we're kind of SOL, you know? Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, look how big these guys are. They're freaking massive. Yeah, let me land up here and just get a good gander at them. I mean, we could easily like poach them right now, but I don't think we have what we need in order to tame them. I think we have to tame them with a certain food. Maybe some... Uh, prime meat or something I have no idea so that's where the questions lie so we're probably not going to be taming one today however we will be we'll probably set up a trap right here and then just go to town on them just put up a few dinosaur gates um, keep one of the gate doors open and then go from there there's something red over here oh it was a pteranodon he was parked on the walkway but like these castle ruins are freaking amazing. They're gorgeous. And I would love to like build here, but like I said, you have to be very careful if you're gonna build in ruins, especially in a place like this where there's so much foliage that there's something that could jump out at you and attack you. So yeah, oh, there's a guy. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's all sorts of Bigfoot in here. I'm, do, can they get in here? It looks like they can if they're smart. Is that bridge like completely out? Let me fly over it just to be sure. Yeah, it's very narrow. So if they were smart about it and were able to get in here. Oh, never mind. That is a full fledged bridge. Okay. Um, should we try and tame one of them? We can do that. We can put berries in their butt as long as there's nothing dangerous in here. Oh, it's a micro raptor. Yeah, get the fuck out of here little asshole yeah even this guy 
he was like, mm, nope, not today. So if we've got little guys, oh my God, look at the colors of this one. He's like white and red. They're right next to each other though. That's the problem. You know what? We're going to go for it. What we'll do is we'll probably just um, park Phoenix up on a rock somewhere so he's not in their way. And yeah, maybe just kind of, he's on neutral so he will defend himself if need be. And we'll just go for it. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to put... Ugh. Gallimimus, fuck off. Scared me. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. I will punch you in the butthole. Alright, let's see if we can be sneaky about this. I know there's probably another Microraptor around here. There always is. It's never just like a nonchalant, like, easy tame. There's always something in the way. He's trying to eat. I don't know what level it is. A level two? Okay. buddy or lady I don't, I don't know what to call you we're gonna kind of explore a little bit yeah that one's really pretty too it'd be cool to have two of them and then we could find a male and they just have all sorts of really cute freaking babies there's all sorts of snails that i want to tame out here too but oh god fight you be dead ass those guys steal your shit There you go. Yeah, get some berries. Eat up. You go and need it. Oh, look at the little compies over here. You can see them. Look at all these little shits. Hey, bitches. Yee, get sunk or punched. <laughs> I just like backhand them. Yes. Glitch out in the bottom, in the dirt where you belong. I don't want to explore these towers just yet because I always get like, I always get confident and then I'm like, yeah, let's go check them out. And then there's shit in them. So no, thank you. Um, and when I mean like shit, I mean like legitimately, oh, cool. We got all these mushrooms now. Yeah. We're going to be eating good. Oh, oh, do we weigh too much? Yes, we do. That's fine. We will bump up your weight and your stamina. There you go. Good girl. But um, when I mean like things in the towers, um, if you guys do not know, in Ragnarok there was a castle. And if you got into the castle, there was bats and spiders and shit in there. And I lost a lot of flyers doing that crap. So I'm not about to do that again. Okay. So our, um, our Gigantopithecus is good to go. She got a bunch of medjo berries, so we're going to put them in our slot, and we're going to go ahead and just go for that female. This is a good place for these freaking rare mushrooms. God, that makes me so happy. I'm going to hide her kind of over here. She, Oh, she can jump now. That's new. 
I didn't know you could jump on these guys. Okay. Y'all hang out on the rocks. No follow. You, your face is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. With that green, you look like, oh, zombie ape. That's your name. Your name's going to be zombie, like zombie ape something. I don't know. We're going to play with some puns and figure it out. And I don't know what we're going to name this one. Maybe we'll just name her like, <laughs> I just thought of some really gross ones, but I think <laughs> I, I already got some names. Oh God, you guys aren't going to like me. You guys are going to think I'm disgusting or something, but I'm probably going to do it. Okay, what level are you? A level four. So she might take a little bit longer. It seems like ugh, I might just, I might just tame that one so I can kill it because it pisses me off. Um, yeah, you guys are probably going to hate me for the name choice that I come up with for this one. Oh, cool. So we got all the other regular, like, mushrooms, too. So a lot of these mushrooms that um, you're seeing over here in the feed as we're picking them up are ones from Aberration. There is an Aberration um, spot on this map we need to find. I have not discovered it yet, but I don't think it'll do us any harm if we actually do. If we actually do... Um, do find it later on sorry i'm i'm spacing out because this one's walking closer and closer to this freaking tower over here and there are spider webs in there and i'm just like no not today yeah i'm scared to go in there that is not that does not look like a, a preference for me <laughs> I don't want it to steal all my berries. Cool. kind of cracks me up like it's just almost too perfect <laughs> actually we should probably name her with like a w so that way like the pun is there um options we'll change her name For some reason, my keys don't want to work as well on this game, I've noticed specifically. All right, let's go find. Are you a little heavy? Yeah. Well, we got all these berries. That's the problem. There. Oh, and these mushrooms, too. We can toss these because we're not going to be able to do anything with them right now. There you go. Play a little less now. I wonder if that pego is still over here hanging out. seeing it all right we'll hit some there you go oh i did not mean for you to smack the wood i uh, just um you know toss that okay <laughs> oh this is great okay we are good to go. I just gotta. <laughs> I love their jump. That is the best. 
<laughs> They're all just piled on top of each other's shitting. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and put these two in cryopods. I just want to make sure that they had some food before we rolled out. Because they do lose a little bit of food while they're in the cryopod. It seems like any time I try to take them out anyway. <laughs> okay. We're good to go. Let's go, Phoenix.